Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make and how to add closed captions to your LinkedIn videos. So LinkedIn is one of the social media platforms that does accept closed captions. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create your closed captions for your LinkedIn video and then upload them as an SRT file to LinkedIn. So the tool we're going to be using to do this is called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D and click on the first link. If not, as usual, I'm going to be putting the links in the description below. Once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button. So now we're in the video editor and here we want to upload the video that we want to add closed captions to. So I click on that pink upload video button. I select my video that I'm going to be uploading to LinkedIn and click on open. As we can see now it's imported into Veed's video editor. So if I click play, Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed and in this video, I'm as you can see, it's a video and I have my video in Veed's video editor. So before we begin adding our closed captions, first of all, I'm going to be changing the aspect ratio of this video because it's going to be posted to LinkedIn. And I don't think that 16 by nine is the best aspect ratio for content on LinkedIn. I'm actually going to be changing this to the square one by one aspect ratio. And to do this, I'm going to click on the canvas size drop down menu and I'm going to click on the square one by one. And as we can see now, my video is square. Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed. If you want to know exactly why I've chosen the square one by one aspect ratio for my LinkedIn video, I made another video where I break down and test a bunch of different aspect ratios on LinkedIn. I'm gonna put that in the cards at the top of the screen. Now, once I've edited the aspect ratio for my video, I want to start adding my closed captions. To add my closed captions, all I have to do is hover over to the left toolbar and click on the subtitles tab, and then click on the auto subtitle tool. With the auto subtitle tool, we can automatically transcribe all of the audio from our video into text and turn this text into closed captions. So I select the language that I'm talking in. In this video, I speak in English and then I click start. And here, depending on how long your video is, this process can take anywhere between a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. This is a very short video just to show you an example. And as we can see, it's just finished. We now have the closed captions that have appeared in three different locations. So we have the subtitle editor, we have the captions in the timeline, and then we actually have them on the video canvas themselves. So now if I play them through from the beginning, Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to permanently add subtitles to your videos, just like these ones. Okay, so as you can see, we have our closed captions, and the first thing you'll probably notice is that the first closed caption is wrong, and this is because I speak very fast, and it's also made a mistake on my name and Veed. So to correct this, all we have to do is click on the bubble and then edit it as we would normal text. So I'm just gonna write, hey everyone, I'm gonna correct my name, Alec here, with Veed and in this video. Perfect. So now if I click play from the beginning, hey everyone, Alec here with Veed. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to permanently add subtitles to your videos just like these closed captions look really good. Now, because they are closed captions and we're going to be downloading them as an SRT file, we're not actually going to worry about the styling. But if you decide to hard code them into your video, you can change the style right here. Now back to our closed captions, what if you want to edit the time of a caption? So as we can see, we have two times next to each closed caption. The first time is the beginning time and the second time is the end time. So this means that this closed caption starts at 0 0.3 seconds and it ends at 2.2 seconds. The following caption picks up at 2.2 and then ends at 4.6. If you want to change this, you can either manually input them with your keyboard, just like this. You can also click and drag on the actual timeline and you can also place the playhead and then click on the stopwatch for that closed caption to adapt to the playhead. Again, if I place it here and I click on my end stopwatch, as we can see, it goes to where the playhead was placed. Now, once we're happy with the closed captions, we're gonna click on options, and then we're going to click on the download as .srt. So now if I click here and I do show in folder, as we can see, I have my closed captions. If I extract them to my desktop, as we can see, they are right here. And now what I'm going to do is once I've downloaded them as an SRT file, I'm actually going to click this button here, delete all subtitles. This is because I want to render and download my video as a square video so I can upload it to LinkedIn. So to do this, I'm just gonna click download in the top right. And now Veed is going to render my video and once it's finished rendering, I can download it. So as we can see, now it's just finished. So I'm gonna click on the download video button. And now I'm going to head over to LinkedIn. So if I open up LinkedIn and I'm gonna click on post a video, and here I'm actually going to go into my downloads and I'm going to select the video that I've just downloaded. So if I click on open, as we can see, it's now uploaded. And what I'm gonna do now is click on edit 
And as we can see here, it says a video caption file, SRT only. So we've downloaded it as an SRT file, so we have our closed captions ready. So if I click on select caption, in our downloads, we're gonna select the .srt file. If I click on open, now as we can see, we have our closed captions uploaded here. So we won't be able to preview them just yet if I click on play. Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed. But if I click done, I can then add my LinkedIn caption. So I'm just gonna write test video, and then I could also add a hashtag and I'm just gonna click on post. Well, I'll just write test as a hashtag if I click on post. Now it's gonna be uploading, and then as soon as it's finished uploading, we should have our video on LinkedIn with the possibility to switch on and off the closed captions that we created with Veed. So as we can see, our video has just uploaded, and automatically, it's automatically playing, and we have the closed captions automatically switched on as well because there's no audio. Now if I decide to switch to them your off, videos, just the like audio of the video switches on Everyone, and then I can switch the closed captions video, on I'm going to be showing you how to as I add please. To your video. And that is how to add closed captions to your LinkedIn videos and then upload them to LinkedIn. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As usual, we really appreciate it. And with that being said, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.